Right, I don't know whether this is going to get up before the thing video or not. Um, I just uploaded a video uh, about archery or how to get into archery really fucking cheap. Um, right, now I noticed it, I didn't notice, but there was a, when I had a look at it, there was a lot of sun behind me. Now, hang on a second, I'm just trying to find my boat. Oh, there it is, sorry. Hello there, here we go. So, if anybody's interested, here's the bow. Um, if I get the, get myself in there, you can, I don't know how close. Here's the bow. And you can see that there's a, a groove there and there's a, just a locking um, Allen key. And the arms go all the way out here to these plastic sort of things to make it look slightly like a recurve when it's not a recurve. It's just a straight bit of um, fiberglass. Like I use fiberglass fishing rods quite a lot, actually. I've never shot a fiberglass bow before, like you know. But I've got to be honest with you, it's fine. And inside here is um, the same sort of limb that I bought off of the cheap bow, but I ground it down so it's sort of like about. I'd say it's an extra 50 instead of it was rated at 40 pounds and I ground it down and I'd say but now it's rated about 15 pounds so it, this would be about 55 strung okay I'm on my I put a second string on it because the string it comes with is not really a bow string actually it's it's a it's a bit of string with a couple of knots in the end <laughs> but yeah it shoots fine it works fine yeah and so basically you know as i said on the last one like you know this actual bow here with this with the best bit is this bit here because as you can see if i get it whoo there you go get it in the light you've got those two platforms left and right so you can shoot tradition traditional sort of like european way or traditional sort of like eastern way and the mongolian way or you know I don't know whether which one is which or anything like that, but you can shoot off the left or you shoot off the right. And if you look at a lot of, apparently, I mean, I've watched it on YouTube quite a lot. If you watch, if you um, see uh, medieval paintings, they, they are shooting on both sides of the bow at that time. And I think it was just down to personal preference. I started shooting on, on this side of the bow for me, because they, and I'm doing the, um, thing and with my arrows in the hand there I'm doing that grip finger pull release and that uh, and the thing about it is is you can you can you can push with your th thumb before you release you can just push with your thumb and then once you move this finger away it releases it's got a very clean release a lot cleaner than I can do with the three finger pull either be below the arrow or above you know between the arrow you know um, and as I said, I set my arrow um, so it's higher than the central plane. So it's, it's at an angle there, comes at an angle there. Um, and where you set it, when you knock it, sorry, knocking, I'm sorry about the language. Where you knock, doesn't seem to, it doesn't make any difference to the accuracy or the flight. Uh, it, in fact, it, well, it seems to improve the flight if you've got it up just a little bit. And you, because you aim, you, you point the arrow at the target. You know, aiming. <laughs> I just don't. I mean, I just trust myself that if I point the arrow where I want it to go, um, I trust myself. You know, like when you point at something, you know, if I, you know, oi, you, you know, if I point at something, right, okay, you know, you, you just look at where you're pointing and point, you know, you look at where you're pointing and point. You don't look at your finger pointing. Do you see what I mean? So you just look at the target and you point. That's it. You know, um, I can't explain any more about it, but you know, the I, I just find the more you practice, the more often you hit the target and the closer your arrows are together. 
you know, and you can get, it's peaks and troughs, you can get really a period where you're really, really on it and really good it. And you'll notice like today, like today, I, I must have shot 150 arrows at least. Towards the last 20 odd so arrows, it was beginning to get a little bit shaky. And I realized it, I was feeling the sort of like, uh, yeah, sort of across there. So yeah, yeah, so I think you can get tired and not sort of like um, hit so many targets, okay? But do get out there, it's absolutely fun. It's fascinating, it's brilliant. And it, um, you know, and it's also a martial art, it's a martial skill, okay? And martial skills are great, good things to learn. Because somebody with a martial skill is better, better to, sorted to look after themselves, better than somebody without a martial skill. No matter what that martial skill is, that's how it works. It's just a step up. It's an improvement. So if you can shoot a bow, and you can do it, shoot a bow accurately, who knows? Anyway, take care, people. Try it out.